Welcome to the Cruise Retreat Podcast. Hi, I'm Rita Perez, and I'm a travel advisor specializing in, you guessed it, cruise ship retreats. This podcast is for service-based entrepreneurs and corporate decision makers to learn more about staying everyone's favorite company with a cruise ship retreat. Ready to increase your client or employee retention? Listen in on this week's show. everyone. Welcome back to the podcast. My name is Rita Perez. I'm very happy to have you on today's episode. Today I wanted to do like a, an introduction episode because we have almost been live for nearly a year. Can you believe that we're reaching almost our one year anniversary? Actually today when this episode airs, today is my birthday eve. I have a big birthday. I am turning 35 on May 19th. Woohoo! I'm really, really excited about that, even though I am also, there's just a lot of things going on. There is a lot of life transitions and positive moves, and I am really, really excited about the future. So I, knowing that all this stuff is going on, and I have some really robust episodes coming to you, I wanted just to do a simple introduction episode because it has been a while, and I know many of you are new to me, so welcome. (laughs) Again, my name is Rita Perez. I'm a travel advisor. I started my business over 10 years ago with the original intent to plan girlfriend getaways. And over the 10 years, that has kind of evolved into my current niche and a niche that I like really love and can't get enough of, which is cruise retreats. Now, I help People First leaders move their missions forward in a unique and cost-effective way, and that is with cruise retreats. So why is this even important for me? Well, being an employee that worked in not so great environment where it was not a people first organization, not being heard, not being able to express opinions without having the the doom and gloom raised upon you. I really want to champion, especially the employee who has felt the same way. And hopefully your organization does not make your employees feel that way. But that is really where my passion lies is I know how low it can feel and that like huge scarcity of, I mean, you shouldn't have to worry about being being at work and um, all the deprivations that it can accumulate because of a not so great work environment. So I, I just don't want people to ever feel like that when they're at work. And on top of that, I want to be able to provide something unique and fun, but also enriching at the same time that can truly change lives and bring better impact, not only to you as an executive of employees, but also to small business owners who have to facilitate transformations that happen within their own clientele. Because on the client side, no one no one likes having to invest in something or someone and then have no return on it. Same thing, like you want to really be loyal to the person that you're investing in. So I just think that having like a cruise retreat, whether there's education involved or not on the client side, just brings a whole other fun element that not a lot of business owners are utilizing in their businesses. So that is a very long uh, (laughs) definition of why I do what I do, but I am really passionate. One, I love to cruise and I just, you know, travel in general is just this huge transformation that happens. I remember me and the last cruise that I went on with family, (laughs) which was August 2019, to Alaska and that was just personally life changing but we have memories from that that last a lifetime and that is something that like a hundred dollar gift certificate is not going to give you whether you're giving that to your employees or to your clients like there are transformations that going on a trip can provide 
and they're just they're just beautiful and there's relationships that come out from that stronger bolder more creative uh it opens the idea for ideas for new ideas and creativity to spur out so it's it's just a really great platform and i love helping out people who are wanting to utilize cruise retreats in their businesses and in their companies so how do I do this? Well, I work with you guys. I work with corporate execs, HR execs. I work with small business owners to go ahead and put these types of retreats together. I take care of all the logistics so that you can focus on your content and making sure that your people are taken care of. Now, what are some resources that I provide? And I don't really talk about these too much, but I wanted to kind of like just highlight a little bit. So if you wanted to get a little bit more into the Rita Ventures world and learn more about cruise retreats outside of the podcast, you are more than welcome. And I'd love to have you uh, as part of this big cruise retreat community. So I send out a weekly email every Tuesdays. So every day that the podcast comes out, an email is also going to come out. And usually they're different topics. So today's email topic is about things that you can add to your retreat that are gonna bring additional value. So that was in the email. I also do post that on the blog. So if you aren't on the email list, which I'm gonna go ahead and put a link into the show notes if you are interested in getting your name on the email list. But if you're not and you still wanna be able to grab a look-see at that blog, you can head over to my website and that will be on the blog as well. So I do weekly email and I do a weekly pod. I'm actually going to be interviewing some awesome guests so stay tuned to, to some future episodes of this podcast. I also have a resource hub and I have about four, three or four really great resources that are tailored to cruise retreats that can help you kind of like visualize a little bit more. I have like a pricing comparison and then I also have things that you should include in your cruise retreats. So make sure to check out the resource hub. All of those resources are totally free. Go ahead and sign up and get access to them now to help you plan your cruise retreat. And then you can also find me on Instagram and Facebook. Both of those names are gonna be Read Adventures. Now I am a little bit more active on Instagram, like with stories, than I am on Facebook. So if you're ever if you're ever wondering kind of what's the best medium to find me on, Instagram is the one that I would choose. I am also available on LinkedIn, so we can go ahead and make connections. And if you're someone who like, if you're not interested yet in doing a brainstorming session, please let's let's just chat. Let's do a coffee chat. I would love to get to know a little bit more about your company or your business and uh, just start up our relationship and then see maybe if in the future a cruise retreat is something that you would like to do. So we can get started with that on LinkedIn. So that is all like the business stuff of where you can connect to me and where you can find all the wonderful resources that I have to offer you. Now let's get into some nitty gritty, AKA some fun facts. I love sharing fun facts because it is not all business all the time. So I am a huge advocate of, or not advocate, I'm a huge fan of fantasy. So I love The Nightmare Before Christmas. It's one of my favorite movies. Now it did not always used to be like that. That movie scared me when I was a child, but I don't know. There's something about it that I love, probably because it has purple in it and that's my favorite color. But I do love Jack, Sally, Zero, um, of course, going over to Christmas land and being in Halloween town. I just, it's one of my faves. And uh, I am huge into Marvel movies. And I'd be remiss if I didn't also mention one of my favorite fandoms, which is Game of Thrones. I am super excited for the next installments that are coming that are kind of like the prequels. I think the title is Dance of Dragons. 
I should kind of know that, but <laughs> I know that it focuses on the Targaryen family. And if you know nothing about Game of Thrones, it is just one of the big families in, in the fandom. Uh, so what else? What else can I tell you about? I don't have any pets. I used to have fish. And then there was a lot of drama that happened in my house, so I had to give the fish. But they did go to a nice home. They went to one of my friends. She housed them. I have somewhat gotten into gardening. And if you followed me on Instagram a lot last year, you probably um, know how that went. I really want to get into hydroponics. But I have a lot of stuff on my plate right now, too. So I think I'm just going to I'm gonna just get a new elevated garden bed and uh, save the hydroponics for a little bit later and, and see what I can do. So I think that's enough fast facts from me. I hope that you have been able just to get to know me and my business and why I do what I do. And I love coming to you guys every week on the podcast. Oh, something that I did not mention, I recently got on Clubhouse. I know I did mention this last week, but you can find me at at Read Adventures, and I'm hoping to either join some discussions or uh, start my own discussions about retreats soon. And this, it's just a whole new world to me. And I was very like anti Clubhouse probably because I'm an Android user. So I was like, oh, we don't need to learn Clubhouse. But I, I don't know, there is just so much value that can be had just listening to different conversations. So I am very much looking forward to seeing how, how I can get more of the word of cruise retreats out. But that is it for me this week. Please, if you have enjoyed any of this, please slide into my DMs and let me know which one of my fast facts that you had the most fun with. Are you also a Nightmare fan? Or how about Game of Thrones? Are you Team Stark? Are you Team Targaryen? Or maybe Team Lannister? I am very intrigued to see what my listeners follow. And if you don't follow any of my fandoms, Please let me know what you belong to because I have more fandoms that I love. Those are just some of my top favorites. Alrighty, well you have a wonderful week and I can't wait to see you here next week. Bye bye. Thank you for joining me on the Cruise Retreat Podcast. Please subscribe and leave the show a rating on your favorite podcast platform. And don't forget to take a look at the show notes for important information and links. See you next week.